Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to learn how to install a panel on Ubuntu 22.04. A panel is a powerful control panel that makes server management a breeze. So, let's jump right in. First, let's update and upgrade our system to ensure we have the latest packages before we install the application. A panel is a free and open source web hosting control panel designed to simplify server management tasks. It provides an intuitive interface for users to manage various aspects of their web server, including domains, websites, databases, email accounts, and more. Overall, a panel is designed to be user-friendly and suitable for both beginners and experienced server administrators. It aims to streamline the process of managing web hosting environments, making it a popular choice for individuals and small to medium-sized business. Now download and execute the installation script by running this command. While executing the script, it will prompt you for authorization to install a panel in the web directory just type Y for yes. Just type yes you can install a trusted certificate later. The installation will take some time, just be patient. Once the installation process is finished, the terminal screen will display the accessible IP addresses for accessing the Opanel dashboard. Simply open your local browser capable of reaching the server's IP address and enter it along with the corresponding port number. Also take note of the username and password. Log in with the credentials that were displayed in the terminal. Now that we're in the dashboard you can install the recommended software and add a domain and set up a website. While it's not mandatory to have a domain initially, if you intend to host a website using a panel in the future, it's advisable to have a configured domain name pointed to your server's IP address. And there you have it. You've successfully installed a panel on Ubuntu 22.04 and now you can set up your first website. A panel offers a range of powerful features for server management, so be sure to explore its capabilities. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.